Well, hello. This is Swirl Sam's Record Roundup, and I just got this package in the mail today from my friend Brian over at Moldy Fig Records. So, I thought I'd do an unboxing video. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. handmade knife I didn't make it but I like a good knife that's got some weight to it too all right let's get into this box mm, styrofoam my kids whenever I get a box full of styrofoam make the biggest mess on over to here for a second move this box down over to here dust off that styrofoam real quick bring it back on over here set it on top of my 1925 Sonoran Ser Sonora Sonoran Serenade, I think that's what it was. My wind-up phonograph. Wish I had better lighting in here. I just don't. And now for this, because it's got some shellac 78s in it, I'll use something else to open this little bits of tape besides that giant heavy knife. This thing's got tetanus written all over it. All right, here's the first piece and the second piece. I got these for a really good price. Fairly holding, moving on over. On the flip side, I should get over here in some better light. Give me a second to move some things around. Do this without dropping them. That's a bit better. Moving on over by Cowboy Copus and Grandpa Jones. Ramblin' Jimmy Dolan, I'll show my sail my ship alone. Backed with Hot Rod Race. This is my favorite. I love this song. Not broke, but I'm badly bent. Laddie Moore. All right, so I'd like to listen to a couple of these real quick. Oops. To do so, we got to change out this cartridge. This is my cheap Stanton cartridge that I wired for mono. And I like it better than the Audio Technica cartridge that came with this. And if I'm going to be completely honest, I like it better and think it sounds better than that Ortofon Red that I broke. Plus, it was only 30 bucks. I know Ortofon Red is not like high, high dollar audio file i can hear the slightest little wisp of a wind in a record nonsense but 
but it is better than most just standard cartridges. I got to try to balance this real quick. Well, hope everyone's having a good week. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I had a good day. Me and my kids spent some time downtown, had ice cream, took a walk, went to the park. I hate that park. It's full of junkies and drug dealers and very, very unstable people who I don't trust, but it's an awesome park, and that's the downside. Let's see here. Damn it. I should have done this off camera, but I don't know. I don't do any video editing. I don't know how to do video editing. So this is all just as I go. That's good enough. Yeah, let's see here. <laughs> I run this heavy. It works for me. You do you. All right, good enough. Switch that to 78. Where'd that thing go? All right. Turn this on my... Very low budget system that I got here. The most expensive thing is my turntable. And that was only $300. Um, this is a laptop that's long out of date. That barely works. And it takes forever to do anything. Which is one of the reasons why I haven't been really working on my podcast. I don't have a mixer. I do have this old Sony receiver which I use as my amplifier. I don't have the greatest speakers. I got these right here that were good until my youngest son decided to fill the speaker cone with exacto blades that were in here. Anyways, I'm not broke, but I'm badly bent. And I want to thank Brian at Moldy Fig for, for these records. It's dirty. I haven't cleaned anything. You just saw. I just opened them. Well, let's see. Where's my volume? Yeah, I gotta do some cleaning. Thank you. 
that's good. I think I need to clean my camera on my phone, but it is what it is. I had a bit of free time and I thought I'd take it while I had it before my kids get into bed and, well, you know, nope, that doesn't feel like shellac. I don't know what that is. That almost feels like vinyl to me. All right, let's see. What's the next one I want to hear? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to play all of these, but I'm going to do this other one on King. I'm going to play both sides. Move it on over. Cowboy Copus, move it on over. Fairly holding. Ah, which side should I do first? I'm going to do Fairly Holden. I don't know where any of my microfiber towels or brushes or anything are right now. So I tried to straighten up the other night and now I can't find anything. That's just about perfect to me. That's what I like to hear in a good, whatever you want to call it, rockabilly, country bopper, hillbilly, country. 
to me, that right there, that that is perfect. All right, Cowboy Copas and Grandpa Jones. <laughs> So why not play that one? I got it around here somewhere. I'm not sure where I put it. And I don't think I want to do this with one hand anymore. We all know how easy the 78s break. can't find my Hank. Part of my problem is I haven't even begun to organize any 78s. They're just kind of here and there and everywhere. And well, maybe another time. I do got some over here. I do need better lighting, don't I? I didn't like the sound of that, but I know I didn't break. I'm going to tell myself that. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. I'm going to have people really angry with me just for fumbling through these like that. Well, well, damn it. Let's just listen to these other two anyways. I've got the time. If you're still watching, you got the time. Ah, what side do I want to hear? I'll do how to call boogie. Bye. 
mind to do the Hattie Call Boogie. The Hattie Call Boogie. The Hattie Call Boogie makes you boogie boogie all the time. I'm standing on the corner with the bottle in my hand, and up the steps, the mama said, My Hattie Call man, you done the Hattie Call Boogie. The Hattie Call Boogie. Well, I don't know about you folks, I'm tired, it's been a long day. There we go. background you might hear my wife getting after my kids bill nettles all right let's read something real quick something a little different here all right damn i can't even get a good image here i need lighting mountain memories James W. Wilt. The end of the trail. The trails of life are many. And amid the seething throng, we see many tired and weary. The trails of life along. Some trails lead through the valley, while some climb high on the crest. And those whose faith is to follow grow weary and long for rest. My trail through life has been varied. Sometimes it was very dim sometimes over barren deserts or mountains vast and grim. At times, through shady, shadowy forests where the blossom kisses your feet, the pine scent greets your nostrils, and life to me was sweet. Then my trail passed beautiful meadows, crossed streams and amber serene by lakes that basked in the sunshine, and the trail was almost a dream. But somehow snow blocked the pathway, and often the trail was lost. Then groping in the darkness, I found it. Twas I alone paid the cost. And ever as I traveled onward, my mind asked over again, Where is this trail a-leading? Hasn't it any end? I followed the trail to life's summit. A city lay at my feet. Still the trail wended over onward, the setting sun to greet. Then I saw a large procession that slowly moved along. Each head seemed bowed in sadness. As I watched the passing throng, they stopped at a little city, a city so peaceful and still, they, where all were asleep together and none did his neighbor ill. Then my puzzling question was answered over and over again, for simple, so simple and yet so plain, and still, I missed it. 
For so simple was the answer, so simple and yet so plain, as still as I travel onward with a hope that will never fail, I look back to that silent city. Yes, there is the end of the trail. I kind of fumbled through that. There's some really good ones in here. I'll save that for another day. After I've had some more time to go through it, get the rhythm of that poetry, I guess. I don't know anything about rhythm of poetry, but it's pretty cool. If anybody has any good books like this to suggest, please do. This right here is a good one. The Cayuse. I'll read it. And if you're still here, I appreciate it. All right. Here, you can look at, look at Buddy for a while. <clears throat> he is ornery and he is stubborn. He is mean, clear, through and through. If you wish to catch or ride him, you have a job. That's true. He will kick or else he'll bite you. He will buck or else stampede. His lineage is uncertain. He just isn't any breed. His neck is like a shoestring. His head hasn't any pose. He's very homely to look at with his ugly rubber nose. He has bit and kicked and struck me. He's trampled all over my frame. Why, I even feel like cursing at the mention of his name. He is a delegate for trouble. And he sure is rough to ride. When God made this here coyote... The devil crawled inside. But he is tougher than soul leather. He will live where a horse would die. I can't tell one half of his meanness. <laughs> the best I can do is try. But when I think of the pioneers, the trailblazers of our land, I meekly take my hat off to that Henri Cayuse band who packed their loads or mountains or prairies bleak and bare where no trails and feed was scarce, but the Cayuse was always there. He could live on in almost nothing the long cold winter through. And when the spring came forth again, he was just as good as new. And since honor earned is honor due, I now gladly sing the fame of the western horse, the Cayuse. But I hate him just the same. There we go.